Sunday run, just about to head back home from Cairngorm Ski Centre. It's four degrees, raining, windy and cold, so I'm going to get going. Feeling a bit in my hamstrings, just running downhill. I thought it would be my quads I'd feel it in, but no, hamstrings. I know this is stating the bleeding obvious, but it's amazing how much quicker you run going downhill than on a flat or up. <laughs> it is mad! I guess that's the end of the road section for a while. Now I'm on some hard packed trail and then hopefully uh, back to road. Well, I am back to road in, I don't know, a good few K to go yet. A wee bit of uphill now. When I said earlier, hopefully I get back on the road soon. I wouldn't normally say that, because I much prefer trails. But I am supposed to be doing road training for a road marathon. It's just tricky when you're surrounded by trails. So Strava to Sunday says long run day. Strava told me to do between an hour and a half and a two hour run. So I've roughly figured out running down from the ski hill uh, would be about 18 to 20 K. It should take roughly, I don't know, just under two hours. Let's see how accurate my guess was. That's me nearly home. Legs have felt pretty, pretty heavy the past couple of kilometres, so I'll be pleased to get back. It's going to end up being about 17.7 kilometres. Well, today's Strava marathon training session tells me to go out for a fartlet run. So it's basically with Strava. They seem to tell you what to do in time. So to do a, an hour run, within that hour, working 10, 30 second, 5k pace um, sessions. So that sounds straightforward enough, 10 within an hour. Uh, whether or not we're supposed to do those in quick succession or pace mode, not sure. But the conditions will also play a part because it is pretty slippy. So I need to be careful where I run quicker. Okay, session number one, underway. And jog recovery. So I'm listening to training for the uphill athlete on an audio book. I've actually got the hard book, but I've not read it yet. So I thought I would listen to the audio book first. And that'll probably help me when I read the book. Three down. I've just realized my sessions are supposed to be 30 seconds, 5k pace, whereas I've been doing a minute. I've got to carry on with a minute now, don't I? I can't start doing 30 seconds after I've been doing a minute. No, my route is completely underwater, totally flooded. Shit. Man alive. Okay, I can't do that. Uh, there's a bridge over there. I've never been over there. I'm gonna have to hop over someone's fence and see if I can make my way to the bridge. Yep. 
that'll do. What was I thinking? Ah, the beginning of this run, I said 10 fartlek sessions, sprinty sections, would be easy within an hour. Oh my god, that's me done at eight. And I've got to get this gate open. I'm too knackered to open a gate. That's me done at eight, but I have done eight at one minute fast as I can. Sprints. Oh, I'm absolutely goosed. Right, it's about 10 minutes to home. Slow jog back. Workout done. It's Sunday, long run day, 23k approximately. Nearly all on trail, but I'm on a really short section of road, so this is my road training. 8kn. Oh, I was just about to say heart rate. Nice and low, it's just spiked for some reason. Well, because I was getting the camera out. I'm trying to keep the heart rate under 150, and it's going to plan. So, this is nine weeks to the day before the marathon. I am 16k into my run. It's just past a kilometre. My heart rate has gone up considerably. It's been really low and I've kept it really well down the whole run. So I'm just deciding to stop for a minute, let my heart rate come down and jog off again uh, nice and easy, see if I can keep it down again. Hopefully it just doesn't keep spiking up now. Uh, I don't want to ruin my run with a high heart rate in the, the last wee bit. Let's see what happens. Kilometer 21. So I've not been able to keep my heart rate low since uh, 16k. It's been a constant, like high 160s, 170, which is really annoying. I'm not going any faster, um, but it is what it is. Things I've noticed on today's run pedestrians, especially groups of pedestrians, are oblivious to runners. Young pedestrians, as in youths as I shall call them, are downright rude. They see you coming and continue to take up the entire path whilst on their phone. People with dogs. Yelling at your dog is not the best way to keep it from jumping up a runner's leg. <laughs> <laughs> 